This altimeter is a tragedy. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of We Builds. In this one, we are going to build the altimeter. Yeah, so this is going to be a complex one because there are three needles within one meter and we need to control all three. So we'll be using different motors for that and it is going to be a lot of fun. I would like to repeat that the software part I'll be covering in uh, other video once I'm done with all the six meters. So make sure to check it out and let's go. Let's break this open. If you know how the altimeter works, it's just like a clock. It looks like a clock. The bigger needle shows the altitude in hundreds and the, and the smaller one shows the altitude in thousands. And the, the yellow one, like you see the one at the back, that shows the altitude in 10,000. So let's say if your needle is in this position, it means you are at 2500 feet and if let's say this needle is at 1 and then this is at 2500 that means your uh, your altitude will be 12500 so that's how you read <coughs> altitude how the hour and the minute needles are connected are interconnected this will be helpful to us uh, because it's the same in the altimeter as well and then we can use the alarm pointer as well we need to connect one stepper motor on this gear and the other stepper motor we need to connect on this gear so this can rotate the thousand ten thousand needle Wait tonight. Off. i'm gonna find my way tonight Wait tonight needs a little more explanation so this stepper motor i'll be using for the um, for the hundreds and thousands needle so i'll have to place it somewhere like this on on this gear so that it can you know move the needles and then at the same time i'll be using this 180 stepper for the 10000 needle and i'll have to paste it somewhere like this I have pasted this socket on the minute needle shaft so that I can fix it on our stepper motor uh, so that it will be detachable and just like come on it's a bit tight but that's good <clears throat> there now also these needles won't work for the for the altimeter so we need to modify them a little bit so meanwhile this shaft is drying uh, let's work on the needles Here are the needles are ready and here is the stepper motor at least uh, for the hour I mean the hundreds and thousands of feet so how I have installed is I have created two pillars one on the left side other one on the right side and then uh, I already showed you that I created a shaft and connected the hour part to it so it's all done it's uh, ready uh, now uh, I need to connect it 10,001 I need to figure out a way to connect the uh, what is that servo motor to it stepper is done walk 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 gonna find my way tonight way tonight okay while trying to install I found out another challenge for the servo uh, because this uh, the driving gear here uh, this one which I was thinking to connect with the servo is too small and 
if i connect it to the servo of 180 degrees it will it, it won't even budge that bigger gear and the needle will maybe move a little bit one degree or something so that's why i'll have to either use a stepper motor or again create a gear system with it so that the 180 degree motor can move it more rounds <laughs> is making me feel like a genius so oh, what i'm doing is now do you see that shaft inside right there that one which is coming to that alarm this alarm needle so that shaft i've uh, taken it out up here and this is this cover is supporting it at this end and then i put a small gear here now my plan is to put this bigger gear on the stepper motor 180 stepper check this out both the motors are ready the header the driver is here just need to place it here and paste it and then we are done the motor parts and needles all that is complete so i'll just quickly test it if it is working or not both the hundred and thousands needle are moving now i i will go ahead and install the led and then cover it up close everything uh, and then <clears throat> later i need to go and print out the face of it and then it will be done let's do this be faster. make the connections on our main board uh, need another driver here and then all the connections to this and then to the motor let's do it This altimeter is a tragedy because um, I, I use the clock uh, mechanism, the gears, but then turns out the clock has 12 divisions here and our altimeter has only 10. I thought about various ways to do it using the same mechan mechanism, but it doesn't fit anywhere. So I, <clears throat> so eventually I had to separate the two needles like the hundreds and thousand needles because the 100 uh, needles is still fine but then it, it, it needs 12 rounds for that 100 needles to uh, move one round of <clears throat> of the thousands needle but actually the case should be it should need only 10 rounds of uh, 100 needles to move one round of thousand needles so after that uh, to separate it i tried using two step uh, two servo motors 360 degree continuous the problem is eventually after like one two rounds it will have a lot of error it, i think it's because it goes with different speeds if the voltage varies and voltage is never stable so that's why <clears throat> now i have to go back to stepper motor but this time i'll have to use two stepper motors instead of one and place them like this okay so this way one will drive the thousands needle another one will drive the hundreds needle so let me do this <laughs> to 
add another driver here and trust me dry adding a driver is a lot of work The coating is also done. Time to work on the face. This needle looks good. I will make this needle also the same. So let's do these two things. ready to fly our game is loading and you see when it loads <coughs> the altimeter comes to life and it shows the altitude of the airport since we haven't set it to zero so it'll go to whatever the airport altitude is let's see okay right here you see it shows altitude 3763 and that's exactly what we are seeing in our altitude meter so here these three this one shows the in thousand so it's three thousand and almost near four thousand and this one shows in uh, hundreds so three thousand seven hundred sixty three and then <clears throat> if we go beyond ten thousand this needle will move accordingly so like if it goes to one we are at uh, thirteen thousand seven fifty but right now it is below one so that means we are at three thousand so that's all it with the meter works and let's fly the plane and we'll be able to see if it works with <coughs> okay uh, with the plane uh, climbing and descending or not so we are on the runway completely lined up everything looks good let me check the rudders working fine let's go full throttle <coughs> and <coughs> release the brakes okay for now obviously the altitude indicator will not change it should change as soon as we start climbing the speed is live we are at a comma 60 70 i think it's good enough to roll 8 i will roll at 80 anyways. 80 and then rotate and we are climbing okay and you can see the <clears throat> altitude indicator has come to life we are increasing the altitude let me try to climb to 10,000 feet so that i can show you this yellow needle the 10,000 feet needle also goes accordingly so right uh, right now we are at 4500 i will try to climb to 10000 don't want to have to wait tonight wait tonight better off i'm gonna find my way tonight wait tonight are reaching 10,000 quickly quickly see now you see uh, when we reach 10,000 the yellow needle is right at 1 so that means now we are beyond 10,000 and as we climb for or further it will be more than 10,000 so now uh, our altitude is how much is it <laughs> 10,250 yeah okay let me turn back and land this thing I am turning final and descending. I should be able to see the runway anytime. Let me go to the menu. Um, <coughs> also, you can see the altimeter reading is going down. Our airport is at 3763 feet. So, when we are on the ground, we will be back to that altitude. I still cannot see the uh, runway. Oh, right there. 
try to see the runway. So I will be going towards the runway and we will land this thing. Bouncy landing, but we are on the ground. <laughs> okay, so the point is to check the altitude. Is it back to the same point that we expected? Yes, 3770 and 3770. Awesome. The altitude is working fine. We have tested it. And with that, we are done with the altimeter. I have to say I had my doubts, but <clears throat> it turned out it works really well. All the three needles are in coordination and it shows the altimeter. altimeter. I would say to a perfection of 10 feet and that's very good for the game and for this build. So with that, I'll wrap this video and see you in the next one where I'll be showing you how to build uh, the turn coordinator. Till then, peace, bye-bye. I would like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.